And I glow up like an influencer in one week using statistics. I made a Pinterest board of 100 faces. I found aesthetically pleasing on my Pinterest board as one does. I jotted down different statistical probabilities, how likely they were to have specific traits. Here are some of the traits that I jotted down statistics on. Today we're gonna be focusing on this one. 83% of influencers I found to have lip filler. These most of which looked very obvious or that I could verify by going back on their Instagram feed. What was interesting to me that it wasn't just lip filler. It was lip filler in a very specific shape. Well, 75% of all of the influencers on my board, keyhole shaped lip filler. This lip filler shape is characterized by having more volume on the side. The lower part of the lip create a little hole in the middle. Being on Eva Rankin, where this beautiful human being is, and Hailey Bieber. Today, that's what we're doing. Today, we're going to designer skin aesthetics, Utah, and none other than Jovi Nicole. I follow her here on TikTok. If you don't, you should. This is the kind of shape we're going for. My lips are not very big to begin with. It might be a more subtle version. I'm gonna let her tell you about the technique and why this specific lip shape might be most popular. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the keyhole trend that she's coming in for. Um, so what makes the keyhole trend really popular right now is the fact that it creates the illusion of a fuller natural lip. So naturally we always have this like this little keyhole, that's why they call it a keyhole, um, where you have a little bit of space between your top and your bottom lip. So what we do whenever we're administering any dermal filler into the lips, we will just enter it on the top and the bottom, still leaving that slight space between the top and bottom lip, creating that cute little look and a beautiful palette. So here is before, and here is after. Again, before and after. As you can see, there's a tiny little keyhole but there definitely used to be none. I have a tendency to swell upon injection. <laughs> when the direct before and afters, they look crazy, but let me tell you something. They're perfect. A little bruised and still a little bit swollen right now. But she also did my nasal labia folds and they are gone. There's nothing left. Like, are you seeing this? Girl! When it came out looking like that, I was a little nervous. The swelling has gone like immediately down. Like very in between these two pictures. I am obsessed with them. I have asked like four different injectors to do something for my nasal labial fold. They all told me, you need to put in cheek filler. And I just feel like my face is already so full. If I did put in some on my lateral cheek, my head would just look big and weird. So Jovi went into the Piriform Aperture, just like this little did it. And like, here's my before and there's my after. But like, look at that, it's like perfect. And I'm so excited to do makeup. So anyways, step one of the statistical glow up, check. Tomorrow we'll go over hair color, hair length and hair style, as well as eyebrow density, eyebrow style and eyebrow shape and size. And I'll be using temporary tattoos to take pictures in the photo shoot that I'm doing. Make sure that I really like the placement of them. And later this week, I'll be going over clothing trends, accessory trends, popular poses for pictures, and how influencers are editing their pictures. So yeah, that's all for today. If you think I botched my face and I'm just delusional, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Love you, bye.